Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys the projects that I've been working on for Letty, who is my little sweet peas here on YouTube. She's hosting a birthday challenge through October 26th, and she has a kind of a two two different challenges going on at the same time, and you can participate in one or both. Um, one is to do a trinket box and a matching card, and the other is to do a banner. Um, and she asks that it be created in a shabby chic or a Parisian style, so I chose the shabby chic style, but I think it was a little tainted by vintage, um, just because I lean more toward that style, but let me go into detail and share with you guys all of the goodies that I was able to add to the project and how fun they were. So this is a regular card base um, that I got in a set. I added a paper doily that I punched out using my Martha Stewart punch set. I think it's the anemone. Um, it's like a double wide um, punch around the page set. I found this image online which I totally <coughs> fell in love with. It's a little girl sleeping with a little scruffy dog in bed. This metal piece um, came from um, a, as a goodies that were added to an entry to my challenge from uh, Sensuous One, Marsha. Thank you so much. They're so beautiful. I um, <coughs> used white gesso to kind of make them fit more in the shabby chic style. And I don't know if you could make it out in the camera here, but it says happiness is um, in the on the metal plate there. And I just added a little bow, and um, I left the inside, I um, papered the inside with some uh, antique book paper that Shalonda had gifted me, and she's the Paper Dolls Crafts here on YouTube, um, and I figured she can write with a thicker marker or pen or something. I'm covering up the top because that's where I have my little message to her. Um, Oh, and I added a little piece of lace, so that would um, be like the blanket um, over the top of the blanket. And then the trinket box, I have to be a little careful because the um, pink uh, stickles that I used, I used almost the entire bottle. <laughs> um, it's still drawing a little bit, but I added, I got this box, which I thought was so cool and I struggled with, but it is a box that a watch came in and I lined the inside with um, adhesive backed um, like fabric paper um, and then that lid I backed with that same book paper um, and also the outside and then I added um, lace trimmer all around the base I raised the bottom of the box a little bit by putting little button feet on the bottom or little feet um, and then I use the pink stickles to add swirls. This is a flower applique with pearls on it that was gifted to me by Shalanda. Um, this lace, actually, which is the same lace on the other blanket on the card, um, was gifted to me by Dee, who is 2002 Mom SC. Um, it's a big, beautiful, wide piece, and it had some stretch to it, so I could wrap it around and give it real dimension, not have it be plastered flat. Um, I cut out little butterflies, little tiny butterfly here, um, a medium monarch, and then a big monarch over here, and I put silver and pink stickles on the butterflies. I just painted them on, um, and then I used liquid pearls for the center of the butterflies. Um, so I think they're nice. They're not like they're not screaming over the top, but um, they have a little sparkle and dimension that they add to the box. Then this banner, I covered the front and back. Um, and then here, I also put in a pocket because um, Letty is asking for some, uh, that we answer some questions and provide information. So I have three tags in there to answer the various questions, the wish list, things like that. Um, and I put even a little lace on the pocket in the back. I wrapped the whole thing around with lace um, and I actually cut the lace down in half because it was a really wide piece of lace like three plus inches and it wouldn't turn the corner very well so I cut it down the middle and then used the whole thing to wrap around the banner 
Um, this flower and the um, doily underneath was gifted to me by Shalanda. Thank you again, Shalanda. This stick pen, which is like a little angel stick pen, was gifted to me by um, was that Lisa, who is Maggie 2005 Cupcake, and that was part of a prize of a pin cushion that she made for me. And I just thought this was so, so precious, but I wanted to share that um, with Letty. This little um, wood piece that's covered in this sweet, sweet paper of two little girls. Um, or are they fairies? They're, I think they're fairies. They've got little wings on them. Um, that was gifted to me by Jen, who is my Blue Bike 101 here on YouTube. It's so, so sweet. Um, what else? Oh, these are more metal pieces. This is a crown down here. And this metal piece up here says, you are my sunshine. And I feel like the little girl could be saying that to the little dog. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that on the trinket box. I wanted all the pieces to match together. And this one says, friends for life. Um, Again, not coming out the best. There we go. And I, like I said, whitewashed all of the metal pieces so that they would fit better the color scheme of these projects. Anyway, that's it. It was lots and lots of fun to play along with both of her challenges. And if you get a chance, please go check her out. I'll put a link to her challenge video in the description box. Um, and I hope you guys all participate. Letty's really sweet and very talented. Um, and it'd be great to show her some support. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye.